Hi, my name's Russell from Voice Recognition Australia. We're on voicerecognition.com.au. Thanks for dropping by to our YouTube channel. Today we're looking at best practice software. Now this is a commonly used, very popular and effective electronic health record in Australia. I've had three calls today already. Does Dragon Medical Practice Edition 2 work with best practice? Well, I thought, well, I'll just make a video and show you how it works straight out of the box. So we've loaded uh, best practice up. Thank you to best practice for sending me their software. I'm using a sample database and we've just got a plain installation of Dragon Medical Practice 2 with the general medical vocabulary. Of course you can load one of the 80 specialist vocabularies but for today's purposes we'll use the generic uh, medical vocabulary. I'm using the excellent PowerMic 2 which is a digital noise cancelling microphone from Nuance. It comes with Dragon Medical Practice 2 edition. It's part of the package we sell with Dragon, which includes technical support for 12 months, uh, two or three hours remote training or on-site training, uh, depending on your location. It has a number of buttons which can be assigned to very useful features for moving around data input fields, uh, launching special features of the best practice software. Uh, so what we're going to do is get started. We'll dictate straight into best practice, just like you loaded it up for the first time. So let's get started. All right, so what we've got here is your standard interface with uh, best practice, which is the patient area. Now, as I stated earlier, I've not made any special changes to Dragon. This is just a normal installation of Dragon Medical Practice Edition 2 and best practice uh, using the sample database. So we'll just try to access some of the features on the left verbally by using Dragon. Past history, immunizations, Investigation reports, correspondence in, correspondence out, today's notes. Okay, so as you can see, I'm able to access all of the menu on the left. Nothing uh, special has been done to drag, and this is uh, an immediate use of the software. This is what's going to happen when you load it the first time on your computer and start using it with best practice, so that's great. Of course, most physicians are using... Um, Dragon within the today's notes section. So this is where you do your typing. So this is what we'll do our dictating. Uh, I'll I will dictate some uh, sample medical reports um, just to show you how how effective it is. This is the first admission for this 74 year old woman, comma, who states she was in her usual state of good health until one week prior to admission. Full stop. At that time, she noticed the abrupt onset of chest pain which she describes as dull and aching in character full stop the pain began in the left parasternal area and radiated up to her neck full stop the first episode of pain one week ago occurred when she was working in her garden in the middle of the day full stop she states she had been working for approximately 45 minutes and began to feel tired before the onset of pain full stop her discomfort was accompanied by shortness of breath comma but no sweating comma nausea or vomiting full stop the pain lasted approximately 5 to 10 minutes and resolved when she went inside and rested in a cool area, full stop. So normally I would now check for errors and make corrections, and by making those corrections you're actually making Dragon more accurate. So now we review the uh, dictation for errors. Now of course occasionally Dragon will make an error, and by correcting those errors it becomes more accurate. And I want to show you the correction process because you will need to do this, and it's fairly straightforward. There's an error, sign of good health. Should be state of good health. Correct sign of good health. State of good health. And you can hear the audio behind that where I've said state, so we make it the quick correction there. And hopefully that won't make the mistake again. And the last one is call area, which I said call area. So let's try that correction. Correct call area. Call area. So it kind of sounded like call to be honest, but that's you know what happens, and you've got to correct it to how you dictate and how you speak. And by that method, it will actually improve its accuracy. So there you go. That's a basic correction process with Dragon. By doing that, you will improve the accuracy. And the more you do it, the less you'll have to do it in the future. So after probably a week or so of making the odd correction, it will it will not make many errors at all. Now formatting. Uh, it can be variable depending on the application. Now, I'm going to try bolding and some underlining here and deleting a few words to see if it's actually compatible with uh, best practice. So let's give that a go. 
Bold parasternal. That was pretty effective. Underline the pain lasted approximately 5 to 10 minutes. So we've got good control over formatting here. Let's try changing something. Select 74, 72. So that would be a verbal edit if you wanted to change a variable or a number. So that was very effective. Let's try to move the cursor. Go to bottom. Great. So we've got very, very good control within best practice with Dragon Medical Practice Edition 2. Let's try deleting a few words. Delete usual. So that's just, you prob that was probably pretty quick, but it just grabbed the word uh, usual, which was at the top of the, the first line, and eliminated it. So that we've got very good verbal control over editing. So that's a, that's a good way of um, using Dragon within best practice. We can also just delete uh, other words. Delete previous six words. So you, you can see how quick that is. So Dragon is very effective within this text editing uh, component of best practice. So that's the end of part one for Dragon Medical Practice Edition and best practice software. Uh, as you can see, it's working really well. Uh, no problems at all. We can dictate. We've got text control. We've got the ability to do formatting, that sort of thing. And you know what? Most people, that's what they want to know. Does Dragon work? It works, and it works very well. But what we're going to do in part two of uh, this demonstration uh, is show you how to create macros and show you how to create uh, referral letters really quickly and efficiently using those macros. So instead of having to mouse or to click around a lot, uh, all you've got to do is create a quick macro with Dragon Medical, something that we show people in training, so it's, not, it's fairly straightforward, and we can really rip through uh, you know, complex tasks like creating those referral letters or other repetitive tasks. So yeah, stay tuned for part two. It'll be up on the web very shortly. Uh, and thanks for dropping by on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit us at voicerecognition.com.au. Thank you.